should you do TRT, testosterone replacement therapy? Personal opinions here. This isn't medical advice. If you want medical advice, go and see a doctor. Most doctors are incompetent, overweight, don't know much, but they did great at uni and they passed. And now they're doctors. So if you want medical advice, please see a doctor. There are some good doctors out there, but you're going to have to put a bit of work to find who they are. Um, but anyway, this is, just, this is just story time. This is my personal opinions here. Take it as it is. It's more entertainment purposes only, etc. Take it as you wish. Um, but the question comes up. Duran Rider, you've used steroids. You've been open about it since 2014. Go back to 2014. You'll see some of my steroid videos. I'd use clickbait titles. Why I lied about steroids, etc. For me, steroids has been a very personal, uh, curiosity, curiosity-based experience for me. Um, being an athlete, a natural athlete for, you know, most of my life and having heroes like Lance Armstrong and these marathon runners who are juiced to the gills full EPO etc it made me like wow you know what's, wow, it's like two sides to the world you know like there's people who know about drugs and people who are totally ignorant about it so I'm like what does it feel like to take some of these drugs I never use EPO but I have used anabolic steroids etc why haven't used EPO because my red blood cells just go right up with testosterone and something and probably not a smart thing to do but anyway, so should you do TRT? Should you do it? All right. I'm going, going on many tangents here. It's what we do. No script. Just from the heart. Real deal. 100% authentic communication here on this topic. When it comes to educating my viewers, I don't hold back and I'm just going to tell you everything. If I think it's going to help you, even if, it was, if it's going to offend you, I'm going to tell you. If you unsubscribe, dislike, click off the video, because I'll tell you the truth, I don't care. It makes me feel good being open. Maybe it's therapy, I don't know. I love helping people, end of the day. So, a lot of people think doing TRT will change their life, and for many, it will. Uh, you've got to ask yourself, why do you want to do it? If you want more energy, if you want more libido, if you want more focus, there's better things you can do to enhance that. More energy? Eat more carbohydrates. So many people are on these forums, I've been on these keto forums or TRT forums or vegan forums even, the sugar phobic ones, scared of white rice, Dr. Gregor style, I don't have enough energy, it's carb up man, get enough carbs, as much carbs as you want, I've been on zillion videos on that, so if you want energy or like stamina, that comes from carbohydrate, that comes from carbohydrate, 100%, if someone said Harley, you know, go and ride 6,000 kilometers in a month, which I've done before, totally natty, you can do it with steroids, or you can do it with sugar and white rice, which could be going to choose one, I'm going to go, give me the sugar white rice. It's way more powerful. Energy, that's way more based on carbohydrate intake than steroids, etc. Steroids help you recover from a brutal Olympic Michael Phelps style training regime. That's what they help they do. Prevent anemia, you know, prevent bone loss, prevent muscle wastage if you're in hospital as a burns patient. They don't give you more energy like carbohydrate will. They help you process things more. You store more. You be able to store more sugar on your body, but in terms of energy, depends on the person. But so you want more focus? Just do things that you like to do in life. If someone made me do, become an accountant, I'm like, oh my god, this is boring, man. I can't do this stuff. But talking to audiences, I don't. I've got no stimulants in my body right now. People think, oh, you must be high as heck on some stims. I've got nothing in my system. I use stims on occasion, but nothing today. Just poof. So when you're doing something you're passionate about, the focus and energy will come from that. And obviously, you know, extra things you add in there will help you with that. But if you don't have that passion and desire, all the drugs in the world will give you a bit of an interest for a bit. But then you'll be like, this is, once the drugs are off, you're like, I hate this. This is boring. All right. So um, sleep quality, again, you know, temperature when you go to bed, you're having stimulants during the day. Are you having arguments with people in your family, your kids, or blah, 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 you know? So people often think, if I just get on TRT, everything will get better, and most people will find that it doesn't get better. Some people, it's a game changer, for sure. You know, if, you, if your gain is, I would say, if you, want to TR, if you want to gain muscle, then yeah, steroids is part of the equation. You know, just, they just change the game. <laughs> you literally, you inject steroids or take the pills, you grow muscle in your sleep, man. I'm not even training 
you know, and I'm gaining muscle. It's just like I'm waking up, you know. It's like well, I can, you know, it's crazy. Pumps are you look like you look skinny ass, and I am. But for me, the, the transformation is insane, and I'm training, you know, I'm not even doing weights hardy at all. Just like here and there, just like I can do a pump, sore shoulder, put it back down. No, you know, like it's, <laughs> it's insane. So steroid, if your goal is muscle growth, then yeah, there's no question about that. So only get on these things if you've done your homework. Don't make it as a rash decision. Because there's side effects, man. There's crazy side effects, especially mood. You know, if you're getting prescribed 250 a week or whatever, you take one shot and you're good for a couple of days and you, then you're tanking down and you're going lower and you don't know how to handle that, man, that can be really, really bad. Uh, you could have issues with, you know, cosmetic issues, gyno, where you get like, you know, fatty lump breast tissue go sort of man boobs this is cosmetic it doesn't matter but some for some guys that's devastating because they're eating a high fat diet and the testosterone they're using is, you know turning into estrogen they call it aromatizing into estrogen because apparently the more fat in your body the more aromatized enzyme you have so you can aromatize more testosterone into estrogen creating you know lactating nipples boobs for some people and estrogen is very very important you don't want to wipe estrogen out you want to have you know a solid enough estrogen. <laughs> so estrogen is very, very potent, very powerful, anabolic, erectile function, etc. Um, that's why I laugh when people talk about soy boys and and they're drinking milk, which is full of estrogen, and they got the gyno or got excess estrogen, and they're still drinking milk and eating meat. And it's like well, those things are full of estrogen. Like what are you doing? But anyway, so there's a lot of side effects potentially, relatively safe otherwise, safe in the contraceptive pill which the World Health Organization classifies as a carcinogen, known carcinogen. The contraceptive pill we give the teenage girls is a known carcinogen. It's not my opinion. That's medical fact, apparently, from the WHO. And it's, But with testosterone, relatively safe, especially if it's prescription grade from your local family doctor, endocrinologist. So, yeah, I've, been, I've seen an endocrinologist as well, and I've wanted to interview them from a channel, and I'm just thinking, man, these people are, some of these people are so incompetent. I wouldn't put them on that channel because they just get roasted and that might come back on some sort of legal thing. I'm just like, man, this is, are you really saying that? I'm just like, wow, crazy, crazy. The average YouTuber out there, someone like Derek from More Danks, More Plates, uh, has way more helpful, real, honest advice about TRT, etc. than the average endocrinologist. I'd be hard pressed to find an endocrinologist in the world. Even that guy called Wells, he's an anabolic doc as well. He's got some great things to, sh to share. And uh, and once you've used anabolics yourself, like real stuff, not fake stuff, like real stuff, there's so much fake stuff on the internet, and it might even be real, but underdosed, dilute, expired, whatever. All right? Remember, people who are making these underground drugs, money's obviously extra priority. So if they can cut it, because there's no one to, there's no one, like if you're getting stuff from Bayer, you know it's 250 per amp. A test, an antidote. But if you're getting something from, you know, Black Tiger, Jackfruit Lab, Cobra King, whatever, you don't know if it's 250 or 80. You know, you don't know. Because they're like, well, why wouldn't we cut it to make more money? Spread the powders further. So, you know, so that's why I do recommend only, you know, using pharma grade, prescription grade stuff, which is easy to get from any family doctor. Um, if you take away the legality, you just got to think from the doctor's perspective. They want to have a legal reason to give it to you, you know, so you can't turn on them and say, hey, you gave me a drug, I'm going to sue you, all right, so you're going to make sure you take care of that legality mindset, simple as that, use your brain, <laughs> use logic there, we can't say certain things on the internet, but um, what else can we talk about, libido as well, for some guys, libido gets out of hands, and it's more than their girls, or maybe it matches their girls, and relationships are like, Poof, extra enhanced, but for some guys, it's too much, and they start like, oh man, I just, you know, just go, go, go. It's insane. So again, that could be an issue as well. It's not what we talked about. You can get insane, especially if you're, if you're to my protocols, the rice and the fruit and the low-fat diet, then you throw in testosterone on top of that, like pharma-grade, prescription-grade test. Man, things can get out of control, all right? Make sure you're going to vasectomy. <laughs> Make sure you're going to vasectomy, and you control yourself. <laughs> Because things can really get out of control, trust me. Um, good and bad. And what else is there? Uh, you're going to gain weight. 
you're going to gain weight. People go, I want to get on steroids to get lean. It's like, <laughs> steroids make you gain weight. I'm 20 kilos. No, hang on, 20, I'm 81 now, 59, 22 kilos heavier on steroids than I was back in the day, 59 kilos, six foot. People say, dude, you're still skinny as. Imagine me 20 kilos lighter. Uh, so if, if you're overweight, steroids are going to make you even heavier. Simple as that, okay? They don't, steroids don't lean you out. Steroids build muscle. Steroids build muscle. If steroids leaned you out, then all these people on steroids wouldn't be doing these crazy, dangerous cutting diets using thyroid meds and DNP and stimulants and clan, all this stuff to avoid eating, you know, to try and burn calories off, blah, 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 which is stupid and dangerous. Just eat low fat. It's under 20 grams a day, long term. <laughs> fat just melts off. So steroids don't make you lean. What the steroids would do, people I'll be your lean. You know, it must be the steroids. I've always been this lean, man, because I eat low fat for like the last 20 odd years. All right? And when you see me with high body of fat, I've eaten more fat, but I'm still relatively lean. So what it do is the steroid will, let's say, let's say my shoulder, you can sort of see striations a bit in my chest, all right? So what the steroids is, is they give you more muscle, but if you've got fat on top of that, you won't see striations, all right? So if you've got low body fat, then or low water, you know, like you, I'm not dehydrated, I'm fully carb right now. So, you know, steroids don't make you lean. They do not make you, everyone says steroids make you lean, then why are all these steroid dudes doing these crazy cutting diets? Why do bodybuilders do these famous starvation diets beforehand? Steroids build muscle. All right, so let's say this is your muscle here, it's flat, it's taken on steroids, now it's, it's big and popped, and then this is your skin, it pushes it out, so you, you appear leaner, but you're not. You've got the same body fat, but when it's flat, it's just like that. But now if you've got all this fat, this, this, there's a gap here, this, you know what I mean? Now you just push it out. You still can't see any definition. So once you lose the body fat by eating low fat, then all of a sudden you've got this lean appearance. So it's the, your diet, your low fat diet that makes you lean, not steroids. You know, steroids build muscle. Repeat myself again, steroids build muscle. Um, but yeah, dosages, you got to try out for yourself. For some people, you know, 30 milligram androl cap once a week is enough for them. For some people, it might be 500 milligram Fumagrad test is enough for them. Depends on what your goals are. Depends on what your goals are. You have to listen to your body. Uh, how long does it take for tests to kick in? A few minutes. That's why I was watching Vigorous Steve the other day. And um, he has said some good things. He also said some BS in my opinion. And he was saying it takes weeks for the testosterone to kick in to get your blood levels up. And I'm like, dude, it's within minutes. If you're using pharma grade test, poof, slim pin, I am in the delt. Minutes. You can feel the test coming on. Ananthate, cypionate, suspension, you can feel it coming on. All right. I remember my, my first shot of pharma grade test in Australia. It was in 2014. And I was just like, you know, I thought, is this placebo? But it was, certain parts of my body wasn't placebo. All right. <laughs> I could feel it. The, the contractile tissue in my legs when I was riding my bike home. I was like, holy heck, this is insane. And then I was like, that was just a one-off. Did it again. Running just like three-minute Ks when I don't normally run three-minute Ks, you know, for just a few couple of segments. I was like, damn, crazy. So you feel it within minutes. It doesn't take weeks to kick in. I mean, there's like a bolus sort of effect over the weeks, but you're going to feel it within minutes, okay? And if you don't, you know, it's very subtle for some people, but if you don't feel, it's probably fake gear. It's probably fake gear, you know? And uh, so that's why I disagree. I'm like, man, I feel it within minutes of a test shot, within minutes. Pharma grade stuff, pharma grade stuff. Um, but anyway, that's the deal there. Uh, what else can we say? You know, um, yeah. Get any questions down below, we'll go from there. That's just what I could think off the top of my head. Obviously, I could talk for hours on this topic. I'm not an expert on it. Like, I'm an expert when it comes to cycling, uh, running tips, bike tech, uh, weight loss, sustained weight loss, health, things like that. But when it comes to steroids, I'm still relatively, like, you know, in, you call me beginner, intermediate, seven years of experience. Seven years is not much at all. I've got a lot of friends who use steroids, so I'll get a lot of ideas and information and stories from them. But I wouldn't classify myself as like, you know, like I've got 20 years plus of weight loss and cycling coaching, etc. So I know all that stuff, technique, etc. 
but steroids, I'd say I'm, I'm beginner to intermediate. Seven years is not much on a, on a topic, and uh, personal experience, seven years here, you know, various compounds, low doses, etc. I've never, I've never blasted, you can tell, because I'm still you know, relatively slim. Um, but yeah, the more, I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying the more testosterone someone takes, the bigger they get. Like someone like The Rock, you know, blasting. Someone like The Rock blasting at Tony Robbins. He'd been a fair bit as well to have that size and mass. Um, and most people lie about it. Most people lie about it. Tony Robbins would lie about it. The Rock would lie about it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't know, steroids, blah, blah, blah. It's like, come on, man. As Nate Diaz, Nate Diaz says, everyone's on steroids. I wouldn't say everyone, but I'd say a lot of people in Hollywood, CEOs, at professional athletes, UFC, etc., uh, social media influencers. 100%. It's rife out there. And I'd say 99% lie about it. And the ones who are honest about it will lie about how much they actually take. All right. So there you go. That's just a little shallow surface scratch there. Um, should you do TRT? I'm going to say no. For most people, depends what your goals are. There you go. I'm going to say, should you do a TRT? Depends what your goal is. If you want more drive, focus, energy, keep your fat lower. Under 20 grams a day, eat as much carbohydrate as you want, cut back on the steams or cut them out, go to bed at 8, 9 p.m. and deal with your relationship stuff. That's a whole other topic, but yeah, that's what I'd recommend. More water. Drink, drink enough water so you're peeing clear every two or three hours. That'll take care of all your energy stuff to the most part. Muscle growth, body change like a Ryan Hall transformation, then yeah, anabolics. Is going to be part of that equation. 